But I'm interested to see now what other clubs do, like Arsenal, that have been linked to him, that, that don't want to pay the price as well, whether or not this kind of... Well, I think I think if we were interested them. genuinely, then obviously we might look to do something. But I think the reason that we will believe there's an advantage to Chelsea is because they've got the guy that Napoli and Conte want, which is Lukaku. So I think that's the main reason why there's some massive legs in this is because Conte has turned around and said, get me Lukaku. He's the guy that I liked from Inter. We want everything together. I'm going to go and get that. For me, I think that's basically the pull. And that's why they're potentially doing some a deal with Chelsea. Now, what I will say, like, Osimhen is, 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 a great, is a great player. We're talking about the young players. If you're a young player at Chelsea, things have got to change. Because over the years... Chelsea haven't really given kids chances, have they? Now, under Roman, he was ruthless as hell. He used to just get rid of them. So are they going to completely change this now in this new structure? Because if they are going to go down the, the young player route, they're going to have to actually show a bit more faith in them than Chelsea have in the last two decades. Because actually, they haven't really given any opportunities for them to get into the first team and get a run of games. If you look at the back, you look at Liveramento, you look at Lamptey, you look at Leif and Ake, look at Mark Gehi. They're all at Chelsea's youth system. They didn't get a look in. And now they've all gone to have good seasons, to be fair. Then you go into the midfield, you look at KDB, you look at Salah, look up top at the likes of Tammy Abraham and all these guys. Does it matter? What do you mean, does it matter? It does matter if they're supposed to be. No, but it does matter if they're going to be. How many trophies they won over the last 10 years, bro? No, 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 you're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm not saying that's the wrong approach. I'm saying if they're going to do this approach now with young people, they've got to trust in them. They can't just keep selling them. And selling them and selling no, them. But I don't, yeah, but, I, yeah, but I, I don't, I, is there any evidence that they are doing that? No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They can't do that. And that's what they no, have they done in the they, last they, two they, they, they definitely won't. That's what I'm that. saying. Because yeah. in the last 10 years, they have done that. As I've just mentioned, they've just reeled off how many of them they've left. So they can't do that anymore. They've got to stick by this. So if this doesn't work, LB, what do they do? Buy more young kids and trust in them? Don, or just Don's calling. With... Don's calling you out here. He's saying, which one what? is it, Potsy? Uh, give the youngsters a chance or go and buy experienced players? Well, listen, Don, you decide, mate. If, if, this, if this, is, this is what I'm saying to you. Is this a win now or is this a give it a few years with young kids? Which one is it? I, no, I, think it, win no, now. I, got the answer. I know the answer. The answer was win in a few years. And now, now they've realised that that isn't possible. They can't, exactly that. And yeah. now they're changing strategy. So that's my point. What do they do now? What do they do now? Do they change it and go, this was wrong? These youngsters now need well, 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 experience yeah, but, yeah, but wait, wait a sec here. Yeah, because like, the, the buying Ossiman, well, who was the striker anyway? Nicholas like Jackson. Yeah but, think... yeah, but Jackson was never a striker though, was he? He's not a no, striker. Not good enough. He's a, well, it's not just he's not good enough. I just don't think that's his position. So it's not like they've got. It's not like they bought a young kid as a striker, and then after one year, gone. Actually, mate, you're a bit dead. We're going to go get Osimhen, is it? Do you know what I mean? They're not doing that. So they've just they, 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 un, un, until. I Do just you don't understand think what, what they're doing? Then you understand this. You think this is working now? No, 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 no. That's what I don't get. Well, no, don't I'm asking you. You sound like there. This is making sense now. Just no, 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 because, no, because what you're saying is you're saying, right, that the, that they're completely changing strategy, which is... No, I don't know that they are. I don't know that they are. No, but, 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 no, but it appears that they've identified that they can't continue down the young players. But my, my point is, it's not like they've got some young kid as a striker that they've given a year to and then gone, nah, you're not good enough. Like, Nicholas Jackson is not a striker anyway, so it's not like they're, they're, they're just cast him away. Like you just mentioned all them players that they've sold over the years, De Bruyne, Salah and that. They're not doing that, are they? Because they're not selling a young striker. So yes, their strategy was wrong, but they might be able to get away with it because the key players that they need to buy, i.e. a striker, they don't really have one. Nicholas Jackson's not a striker. Um, who's the other guy that they got? He's, a, he's more of a, like, a, like a nine or whatever. What's he called? The guy they bought from Leipzig? He's always injured. Oh, and Kunku. And Kunku, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's really a striker either. So... Uh, how is Jackson a striker, bro? Come on, Michael. You think Jackson's a striker? He's not a striker. He's, he's I don't know what he is. He's, he's more awful, like an inside forward. Up. He's not a striker. He's better on the left, man. He's not a winger or something. He ain't a striker, man. No way. No he's way. Not a, but he's this not is a my striker. point. Chelsea need to now look at either sticking with these guys or they go, we add the experience to it. And then what happens to the kids? But they, the they question is, you know what I'm saying? Is players like they've got. No, no, I, but I agree and disagree. Uh, and I'll get to where I disagree. I start with where I agree. They can't just keep buying all, keep buying all these youngsters if they're trying to put them all into the first team. But I don't think they are. When you actually think about all their signings. And 
the young signings have they made that are actually players they're looking to put into the first team? And when I say young signings, forget players we already knew of and that were playing. So I know Palmer's young, but he was already established at, at, at City as a, as a player. Casada was already established. Lavi was already established. They'd had a season or two of playing professional football. The youngsters that they signed that none of us have heard of, how many of them are last season alone were genuinely integrated into the first team? Well, it's hard to think of a player that no, no, is but not that's known. Exactly, but that's exactly the point. Because Casado is, is young, no, but, but we know him. No, Lavi no, is young, no. we know him. Yes, but what I'm saying Palmer. is, if you if, if you look, though, at like... That Gil, Gil, or is it Gui, whatever his name is. Mark Gui, Gui, yeah. Gui. Like, Gui is an example. They've signed loads of players, like in Wiley. There's loads of players they have purchased who have all gone, who? The problem is that Chelsea, the, the mistake they've made with those youngsters is they've made, they've, they've got into bed with Fabrizio and done the here we go thing. And, and people go, must be part of the first team because Fabrizio is talking about it. He, they, they should have just signed them quietly in the background. Man United, yeah, have been yeah. signed, Man United have been doing something similar for years with, the likes of Harry, Amas, and, and and the like, signing all these young players from other people's academies. But no one even hears about it because it's just, I think it's like an everyday occurrence that all clubs do. And then what Chelsea have done is they've kind of created this sort of, they've got a 45-man squad. No, they haven't. They've actually got a 20, 20 to 25-man squad. The other young players, one or two might make it. The rest are going to be loaned, flipped, and made 100% profit on. It's a business model. Like genuinely, I would say out of the 1.4 billion they've spent, I'm hazarding a guess here that 600 million has been spent on players that they will make profit on over the next two to three years. Like I genuinely believe that. I ge that that's that's one thing they're doing. The rest of their signings, they have signed a lot of young up and coming talent, but we know who they are. What they then need to do is add some good quality experience next to it. Chelsea fans do their thing when they go, but we had experience, but they were crap. Yes, but that doesn't mean you give up on a lifelong tried and tested element of football that every winning team's always had a good experienced, mature core of players and they need to go and buy that and i think then if you add these mature players to the lavias the caicedos of this world the, the and the like they they can they can be elevated to another level i i really do think they can get that right if the manager and coach is as good as they suggest so i think it's a combination of the things you've said you are right to a degree, Dan, I think they, they have to look at this Project Youth thing and stop. Oh, it's all right, guys. We're going to have a great team in three or four years. Pops, uh, LB's called it out the best I've heard anyone do on socials the whole time. Show me an example of where this has worked for anybody. Show me an example where a team has just had young players, whether you know their names or not, and developed a, 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 chair, a Champions League winning team without an experienced core. It's never happened. So Chelsea fans should be very happy that their, their board are changing tact slightly they're not changing everything but i think they're changing enough now it's just we've whether or not the though, signings are good enough with the manager tell. like this might be the start but we've got to see more if they get awesome men it's a great start they need more than that man they need more than just awesome men for me i mean it's a great signing but i don't look at them now and go right they're back now That's, they, they've got to do a lot more than that in my opinion I, I don't look at this chelsea side and think wow like a lot of people a lot of the chelsea fans hate me for saying it but i just don't think this is going to work i don't like what the ownership are doing I look at Chelsea and I'm not scared anymore. And I, they were, they give me nightmares for the last two decades, man. I hated watching Chelsea. I look mm -hmm. at them now and I'm like, what, what are they? They've got a few good players that I quite like, but I don't see them being a threat. Like even this season, I don't see Chelsea getting near Arsenal and Man City. I don't. Yeah, but that's what no, but bro, come on, man. Like they're obviously not going to finish close to, to Arsenal and Man City, but like in a year, like they get Ossiman, right? And maybe get one other player, and then next summer buy a couple of players. They could be challenging for the league next season. Different, different story. Different story then, hundred percent. But right now, I'm not getting scared at all. Yeah, but bro, City and City and Arsenal, yeah, City and Arsenal just clear of everyone in this league, though, isn't it at the moment? Like, I think so. I think that's, so. And so you can't really, you can't really like beat Chelsea and say, oh well, they're not near City and City and Arsenal. Like, they're not because no one else is. Even Liverpool are not going to be near City and Arsenal this year. Like, we're just clear everyone at the moment, bro. That's just the way I it agree. is, isn't it? I agree. So, so I, I, I kind of get that. I mean, Don here says we're, we've already started making profits already, people struggling to understand the business side of the oh, game. Well, I, I would say this, Don. You're not making Brilliant. profit. Win, win saying then, Don. Don't, you're, don't you're, just make profit. Go and win a trophy, well, man. Then we'll talk. Then, I want to I I say one thing, Don. I, I, I'd love you to ex expand on what you're saying. This season, summer so far, you've made profit on... If, if you go by net spend, but net spend isn't real. 
you're not making actual profit as a football club. And that's that, that is something your club has to do. If your club is always making a loss, at some point it's gonna your legs are gonna be pulled out from underneath you. So the I think the business side of things they've, they've got an idea, but the most important thing to really make the business model work is they have to start winning. They have to get back in the Champions League and start winning. Without that, all the other side hustles, and they're not really hustles, they're, they're good business plans, will, will fall apart. And a few people say, Terry, you finally get it. Now, I've always got it. I, again, I've always pushed back. I remember we had this Arsenal uh, Chelsea fan came on last season saying, we're doing this by lowering the wage bill to like 150 cap and buying young players because of all the new PSR regulations that are coming in. And we're going to, everyone else is going to be caught by surprise and we're not. And here they are about to go and sign uh, Osaman, which we always knew it was a nonsense. Like, again, it's the, it's the polarization of it. Does that make sense? Too many Chelsea fans kind of were sitting in this mold of, no, no, I like the fact we're just buying all these youngsters and lowering the wage, but it's going to work. Some saying this is absolutely horrendous. We're going to get relegated. The club's finished. I don't think either opinion was right. It was always no. somewhere near the middle. 100%. It, but changes had to come and, and they're starting to now. And this will be a, a, a phenomenal piece of business for them. If they if they're able to get it right, uh, I'm talking about players like Amari. Who, yeah. So you've made a hundred percent profit on the player, yes, because they're from your academy. But as a business, you've most certainly not started making a profit as of yet. You you, you know you're massively in you've, you've been massively in the red for two years. But yes, on those players, you've been turning a profit, and that's why you're you're selling Shalabar, even though he's currently you could argue Tosin but he's the best center back at your club because you get pure profit for him and your club is tr and, and clear lake and, and co are trying to make up for the mistakes they've made previously but the only way you can do that and people don't like hearing this in football but it's true is by spending money i saw a dig at arsenal today by some journalist who said i can't believe arsenal in the last under under arteta have now spent 200 million on new defenders it's like well, he's been here five years and 200 million to build the best defense in the league is pretty good, in my opinion. People always try and dig up people spending money. You have to spend money in football. It's as simple as that. Uh, Super Chat here says, last I checked, Chelsea recently won one Arsenal crickets. Arsenal what? Sorry, cricket. Well, I think it means no, I think you won a big, Chelsea have won a big trophy recently. Arsenal haven't. Oh, listen, if you want to compare trophies, you leave us dead in the water in the last two decades, 100%. I'm just saying, we're talking about Chelsea's model. We talk about Arsenal's model if you want. I'm more than happy to do that. I've, I've had my doubts over us winning stuff, and we're still all yet to. But I'm talking about Chelsea's model, man. I don't think it's going to be successful. I don't look at it right now, and I go, you don't oh, think I wish that was us. Nah. How do you, right now, gut feeling, and we'll get proper predictions in a couple of weeks' time, but how do you think Maresca's going to do next year, in your, in your honest opinion, Dan? I haven't seen enough of Maresca at um, Leicester to be um, to give an opinion on what it'll be like at Chelsea. I don't see personally how he comes in and finishes and does better than what Pochettino has done. Unless the transfer window is, oh my God, look at this transfer window. This is a 10 out of 10. Chelsea should be back with that squad. That's what if I he think. gets Osman and finishes anywhere less than six. That is that is sad. Oh, if he finishes less than six anyway, let's be real. Apparently, they've got a squad that's good enough. He can't finish less than to six. To finish bro, Wolf, so if he, he finishes below Pochettino, he's got to go, any. Let's be real. I think so. he's got to go. If he finishes less than six, mate, you got say you got Osserman, yeah. You got Osserman, you got Palmer, yeah, Baller, you got Madueke, who Don says the best right winger in the in, in the league. Right? And got, a bit now, correct now, that best one on one. With also, my man, one -on -one. my man, oh, I've got to get oh, right. Yeah. I said, nah, nah, fair, fair, fair. It's got to be. I've got Caicedo, Lavia, Enzo. Exactly. Caicedo, Lavia. You know what I mean? Reese James is probably going to be back for a couple of weeks. Malo Gusto. You know what Cucare, I mean? Yeah, Cucare. So, you know what I mean? Like, for me, if they finish anywhere less than sixth, yeah, that's sackable offence, bro. And the thing is, right, all these Chelsea fans will probably go, not all of them, to be fair, but like some of these Chelsea fans will be like, no, 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 we won't sack him if we finish six. I'm telling you, man, the standards are crazy. So some of their fans, man, and it, it just, I don't know what's wrong with them. You won the Champions League a few years ago. You know what I mean? That ownership have absolutely gutted that football club, man. And you got people out, like Don out here like talking about like pure profit sales. Like, come on, man, what's going on? Weird, bro. Yeah, so for me, anyway, it's six. Six is the bare minimum. Anything less you know than what, that. You know what I love though about the pure profit sales thing, and this isn't a, this isn't a dig at Don. He, he's right in what he said. Is everyone's now going on? It's it's become the new net spend, but it's actually correct because the the trading accounts show it as pure profit. 
But whenever I used to talk about net spend not being real, it's about what's on the trading accounts. I would say for about six years, the level of abuse I've got for saying net spend isn't real is unfreaking because it isn't real. It's it's not how and Mbappe is the the pièce de résistance in my argument. Net spend shows he cost Madrid nothing this summer, but in reality, it cost two hundred million pounds to bring him in. Therefore, net spend is bullshit. So it's all about what your trading accounts say. Also, that's what you get sanctioned on. You don't you don't lose points for having bad net spend. You get deducted points for losing money as a football club. So I'm glad that point has been absolutely. Uh, hopefully the mainstream media starts talking about net spend because we're not dumb. We understand how it really works. Um, there's another super chat that came through that said that if Chelsea win two trophies and make top four, rivals' tears will overflow Chelsea's fan fans' cups. Uh, rivals' shameless digs make Chelsea the underdogs this season. Hmm. I mean, if you win two trophies and make top four, I mean, that's that's pretty, like, that's ambitious, no? That's a like, good season, man. That's a very that's good insane. season. That's insane. If you win two, how many trophies they can win this year? They're in four trophies, right? Yeah. Prem, two domestic, Europe. So if you're telling me you're going to win two out of those four trophies and finish top four, manager of the year? They'll win that conference league, surely. Have you seen the competition in it? Oh, my God. If they don't oh, no, no, no. We did this about Villa last year, bro. We was like, ah, Villa are going to win this, man. Villa are going to win this. And they didn't win it. Oh, was it Villa? Oh, was it? Yeah, it was yeah Villa, no, it was Villa. It? Yeah, no, it was yeah, Villa. And they didn't, man. No, no, no bro. This is the, oh, but to, to be fair, Chelsea do actually have some pretty decent European heritage, man. So they actually, that's what I mean. I, I think they I actually think, might man, be, to be fair. The occasion got to Villa, whereas I don't think it will with Chelsea. They've got to win that, man. Like, geez. It's terrible. I don't even know who else is in it. It's what like Sheriff and Co. Are they in the Europa League or, or Conference League, Chelsea? What are they in? They finished sixth. Uh, Man, Man, United put, Man United put them in the Conference League because he won the FA Cup. So no, the Terry, like, Terry liked to get that in there. <laughs> Oh, I'm just giving. I'm just. I'm just giving the context. Just, totally just, just, just reminding LB of the context. Of that. everyone. Just the context of it. Yeah. That's some context for you. That. Yeah. You used to be on ITV on on Tuesday, Wednesday nights, watching Champions League. I got Rob, give, it, give it 12 months and you're going to have to wait until after the match of the day to watch Football League highlights, bruv. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> to see your team. So, <laughs> even if that it. show's still, still going on.